We've been having requests for a super long time for a cow skull. This is a female that died yesterday giving birth, which is unfortunate. Um, so she could stay on the ground and rot, or we could uh, respect her and get her on the wall. So that's what we're gonna do. Same rules apply. We're gonna cut her right up the middle, skin it, get it in the pot, and get it boiling. Okay, y'all, you know the drill. We're just gonna get her skinned. I always like to start right there at the nose, slide right up to the base of the horn, and then start working all the way around. Let's speed things up and listen to a little music. I feel like we could have titled that epic cow skull cleaning. The truth is it's the same as all skulls, just like you saw there. I take a little more time and I remove the eyes and excess meat, and then I go right down in the pot. Remember, until the horns come off, we use no chemical. So this is straight water. I don't have a pot big enough for the entire skull, so I'm gonna do half and half, get it in there, bring it to a boil, and then we're going to smack those horns just about as hard as we can with a sand hammer and get them loosened up. Once we've got them off, we're going to cut the horn cores, go right back down in the pot and add a little OxyClean. While your skull is boiling, I like to wash those horns in and out real good with a pressure washer. Get off any blood or any membrane that stayed in the horn. Remember, clean is always number one. With big animals like cattle and bison and elk, you can plan on boiling and washing a couple of different times. I've had it in the boil for about an hour. I pull it out start washing just everywhere I can get clean, I get clean. I take a knife and I cut that big hunk of fur around the base of the horn there and then just use my hands and tear it off. It's easier than trying to spray through big tissue. Remember, the power washer will help you get the tight tissue, not necessarily the big hunks of stuff. Use your knife. If you're spraying and you expose red meat, put it back in the boil. So I'm just gonna give it a real quick spray and get off all the stuff that I can and then go right back down in the boil. Like White Bone Creation's law, you wanna spray every hole and every orifice. Everything meat related has got to go. Let's speed things up a bit and let's do a little 90s throwback hip hop funk.
Alrighty then, we got that thing about 80% clean. Most of the big debris is gone. So I'm gonna wash out and dump that old water and clean that pot. And then I'm gonna fill it full of the White Bone Creations whitening degreasing mix. 40% by volume liquid peroxide and water. 50-50 of each. I'm gonna fill that pot up, drop that cow skull back inside and bring the whole thing to a boil for about 10 minutes. That's gonna whiten, degrease, and remove any of the last little pieces that I missed in the initial boil. At that 10 minute mark, I pulled it out and I just rinsed it and everything that was on there fell off. And so I just set it in the sun to dry. I only saved the horn core and the bottom jaw and a couple of the other pieces just for a little art project I'm working on on the side. At this point, the skull cleaning is over, and as it's drying, I just gather up all the waste, the mess, I soak down pots and get everything put back together, ready for the next day. Let's get this thing done. Once it's dry, I take Automotive Bondo, and I mix it with a hardener, get it all ready to go, and then I put it on the inside of those horns, and I slide those horns right back over the core and let it dry. From there, I run a little screw in the back on a cow's horn just to hold it in place because I know the person that's getting this and I know it's going on a wall where you can't see it. Last step is I just cover the whole thing in mop and glow. Give it one last coat of flooring mop and glow to seal that bone and keep the dust from collecting around it. It just gives it that well done finished look. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And that is how we do a cow skull. It's the same as all horned animals, as you could tell. Not much has changed. A little bit bigger, so it's a little bit tougher as far as the amount of work you gotta put in. But it's the same old, same old. Turned out beautifully. An unfortunate situation for this cow turned into a beautiful display piece, which will honor her and decorate our homes. And that, is how it was intended. Thanks for watching.